Hello everyone, welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 plus common mechanical measuring instruments. So let's quickly get started. Vernier caliper. A vernier caliper is used for measuring lengths, diameters and depths. Least count being 0.02 mm. Steel scale. Steel scale is a single piece linear measuring instrument. The steel scale indicates two units that are cm and inches, cm divisions on one side and inches on the other side. Dial gauge or dial indicator. A dial gauge measures small displacements. So the least count can either be 0.01 mm or 0.001 mm. Depth gauge used for measuring depths of holes and slots. So if you are using a vernier caliper type gauge then the least count will be 0.02 mm and if you are using a micrometer type depth gauge then you will have the least count as 0.01 mm. Height gauge used for measuring vertical distances. So the least count is 0.02 mm for vernier type and for the digital type it's 0.01 mm. Slip gauges or gauge blocks. So precision tools for calibration and least count being 0.001 mm that is 1 micron. Feeler gauge used to measure small gaps and the least count is 0.01 mm. Bevel protractor. So if you know this protractor is so precise that it measures angle uh, or any angle that you give to it with such a precision that it is used in many industries for the same purpose. So it measures angles with precision and the least count is 5 minutes or 0 0.1 degree. So you can understand the precision by just looking at the least count. Surface plate. So basically surface plate provides a reference plane for measurements and it can be checked for its accuracy from grade 0 to grade 3. If you see a picture of a chart has been given that says tolerance flatness of a surface plate. So you can see the size of the plate given, the border zone given in mm and the tolerance on deviation from flatness for plates of grades. So the grade is also mentioned for each particular size and border. Sign bar used for precise angle measurement least count depends on dial gauge so for here we'll take it as 0.01 mm. Bore gauge measures internal diameters and the least count is 0.01 mm. Profile projector magnifies an object's profile for measurement and the least count is 0.001 mm. If you can see the picture of the profile projector has also been given. Coordinate measuring machine. You can also handle this with a proper handle which comes in like the worker as shown in the picture is handling the CMM. And it measures 3D dimensions. The least count is 0.001 mm or 1 micron. Universal measuring machine used for high precision length measurement and you might see this in very big workshops as well. The least count for this machine is 0.0001 mm. Dial verniper caliper. So it is used uh, for different caliper measurements like the normal one but the only difference between the normal vernier caliper and this dial vernier caliper is this uses a dial instead of a vernier caliper scale which we see. So the least count for the same is 0.01 mm. Digital caliper. It provides direct digital readouts and the least count is 0.01 mm. Trust me, digital caliper makes life so much easier than the normal vernier or dial caliper. So it's very easy to measure things using digital caliper. Inside micrometer measures internal diameters and the least count is 0.01 mm. Outside micrometer, just the opposite function of the inside micrometer. So it measures external dimensions and the least count is 0.01 mm. Depth micrometer, it measures depth of slots and holes and the least count is 0.01 mm. 
ring gauge so it checks external diameters with high accuracy so this is the proper function of ring gauge plug gauge used to check hole dimensions using go or no go method and if you might wonder what is go or no go method it is a decision making process used in various fields such as manufacturing engineering project management and quality control so basically if a criteria should be proceeded with then you go with go and if it must be stopped then you go with no go so it is used for quality inspection as well so this is the use of go and no go method pitch gauge measures screw thread pitch roughness tester measures surface roughness least count is 0.001 micron tachometer it measures rotational speed or rpm and you can see this in garage shops or you can see this where wheels are set to location and you can also see this in different automobile industries while they fit wheels into the vehicles so that's the use of tachometer not just that it is used for a lot of different purposes but majorly in automotive industry the least count is 1 rpm and it goes up to 0.1 rpm as well in some digital tachometers stroboscope so it measures speed of rotating objects so if you might have seen uh, there are different robotic arms which move at a very high speed so for such calculations we do use stroboscope as well pyrometer as you can see from the picture it it measures high temperature uh in furnaces and this is how it can be used you just have to point it towards a furnace and immediately the temperature will be shown just as you check your fever strain gauge it measures strain in materials widely used again in mechanical applications and you can see a working or how the strain gauge actually is constructed and how it works is given in the image coordinate measuring arm difference is that it is the machine is actually the entire surface along with the coordinate axis and then it measures a certain thing and measures that axis then the difference here is that it has a specified arm and it is portable 3d measurement device with high accuracy so that is the basic difference between cmm and coordinate measuring arm infrared thermometer so it measures surface temperature without contact and this was used during the days of covid a lot laser distance meter it measures distances using laser technology and the least count is 0.1 mm you can also see how the distance meter exactly works using the laser light by looking at the picture v block it is used to hold cylindrical objects for measurement so you put your v block element into that machine and then it starts the measurement radius gauge it measures the radius of a curved object so you can learn about 30 plus mechanical engineering courses like engineering meteorology and 3d measurement cmm machine gdnt with a lifetime access by joining gauge how premium and you can also check out the website that is gagehow.com please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and make sure to download the pdf of this ppt so that you can refer it further for your better understanding thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye bye